Now let's try the two examples on the back. Calculate the distance between the two points of the line segment. X1, Y1. X2, Y2. So once again, we use our formula. Length squared is going to be how far on the X we ended up. Take away how far we started, negative two. That entire thing squared. That's giving us this length. We're gonna add that to how high we ended up. Take away how high we started. That gives us this length, and when we square it, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Six minus negative two is eight. Again, that tells us from here to here is eight. I'm going to add that three, take away one is two. That tells us from here to there is two. Two squared plus eight squared is going to equal c squared. 8 squared is 64 plus 4. I'm going to take the square root of 68 and our length is approximately 8.246 which rounds to 8.25 units. If we continue with example four, we now have three vertices, three corners of a triangle. A sketch for my help is vertices A. There's vertice B, a corner B, and corner C. We're asked to see or verify that this triangle formed by these three corners is actually an isosceles triangle. Our previous knowledge we need to remember here is that an isosceles triangle has two sides that are the same length. So we need to find the length of AB, we need to find the length of BC, and we need to find the length of AC, and compare all three to make sure that they are the same. So I'm going to find the length of AB. For the length of AB, I'm going to do the length formula three times. Four minus negative one it's going to be four plus one all squared because that's minus negative one then we're going to have negative four minus negative five which is going to be negative four plus five all squared Because I'm going to compare it, I don't need to actually round this now or find an approximate answer. If I continue, I'm going to now find the length of BC.
use the formula again. It's given to you. So, two, take away four. All squared. Plus negative seven. Take away negative four, which is add four. All squared. Math it out. Right now when we compare, those two lengths are different. For an isosceles triangle, we need two to be the same. So AC, we're looking, does it actually equal the square root of 26 for a length? the square root of 13. Once again, I can measure it this way, or I can measure it that way. 2, take away negative 1, is 2 plus 1. All squared plus negative seven take away negative five which means add five and that entire thing squared two plus one three squared minus seven plus five Now we have the full length of AC and BC. We compare them, they're the same. So AC and BC are the same. C has a different length. So we do in fact have an isosceles triangle. To verify length of BC equals length of AC, and those do not equal the length of AB. So the Triangle formed by A, B, C is indeed isosceles.